before we get started, I want to tell you guys about a couple of people we really rock with. Number one, Rubler, a social media app that appreciates you, and it's also Black-owned. This app is all about you. You can customize your feed so you can only see what you want to see when you open the app. You also get a chance to enjoy a safe environment where racism, harassment, hate speech, bullying isn't tolerated. And you can enjoy a fun, creative, mannered, respectful discourse. And to be honest with you guys, since using this app, I've cut down my social media usage on other apps completely in half. I like to say this app is similar to if Instagram and YouTube had a perfect baby where everything you loved was in it and everything you hated was out of it. So guys, check out Rubler, a social media app that appreciates you. Number two, Excess Sports Nutrition. Guys, crack the seal on one of their many flavors and keep winning. Man, will Josh Allen and Sean McDermott win a championship this year? I want to tell you something Deion Dawkins said. He said, Josh Allen has barked a lot more since the Bills roster turnover. The pressure to win in Buffalo is as high as ever. And I'm going to tell you the truth, bro. I really don't care. How high the pressure is, my answer is no. Um, I said this many times before, but everybody in the AFC is getting better. And to be honest with you, I think nine times out of ten, the road's going to lead through either Arrowhead, Baltimore, or uh, Cincinnati, depending on if there's no injuries or anything like that. My answer is no. You know, sometimes when people answer things, it's like you want to you wanna say something else. You know, just because it's like, I mean, road going through Cincinnati sounds like crazy. But I would even start because it would be Pittsburgh. <laughs> Because <laughs> yeah. you know, um, Russ is back, I'm just establishing that now, so we can all go back and be like he was saying this well before the season. Mm. But uh, no, bro, um, no, you're 100 percent right. You know, the topic is so easy. What is it to really say? Yeah, Buffalo trash. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, I don't even got them in the playoffs. Like, you know, uh, yeah, you run yeah. over the playoffs, bro. You know how it is every year. Somebody who made it ain't going to make it, you know? I think yeah. the way Buffalo is set up right now, teams like Houston, Steelers, they're going to step right over them, you know, even within their division. I think Miami is going to come back and come right, you know? I think Miami is going to handle that Buffalo monster, you know, that, that demon over their head to get yeah. over them. So, you know, because I already got Miami winning that division. I got the Jets in second, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Buffalo on the outside, with, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, I don't blame hey, you. you know, they barely I made it to the playoffs I, last year. Man, they let go of Stephon. I think that, bro, he's not Patrick Mahomes. This ain't like a, all right, you see, he got rid of Tyreek and they still won. Like, no, nah, yeah. bro, this is Josh Allen. Josh Allen wasn't Josh Allen until like, he got digs. Facts. You know, when he didn't have digs, he was basically. Listen, when he didn't have digs, you know who he was? <laughs> You Daniel Jones. Bro, like, wow, you know, wow, like, That's why I've wow. been waiting for Daniel. I've been waiting to see, like, man, if Daniel Jones got a, like, you know, really good receiver, I wonder if he would do the same exact thing. Because I really believe he would, you know. Well, but, without the running. No, nah, Daniel Jones runs. But do he, do he run like Josh Allen? Has. Josh Allen built like Big Ben. You know what I'm saying? I don't think Daniel Jones oh, would run like that. Hey. Hey, Daniel Jones runs. Go check the tape. He really do. Daniel Jones, this is the thing. This is really crazy to me. I don't really think Daniel Jones and um, Josh Allen are, like, really one of one. Of one. Like, they're, just, they're really the same thing, you know? I truly believe if they, like, swap places, you know? And you know how I feel about these QB comparisons. But, like, I really believe if they swap places, give them two years, Daniel Jones will turn into Josh Allen. Relax. Like, Relax. No, that bro, is high so, disrespect on Josh Allen. Man, what does Dan, What does Josh Allen do so spectacularly? He's not a pinpoint thrower. He's not like a, a dumb, accurate thrower. You know when, what they do is start winning games. Stop throwing it so much. Like, yeah, Josh Allen has a he has a strong arm. You know he uh, he's a good quarterback, but yeah, it's not. I don't nine wins. You know, it's not going to be good this year. I really don't think so. First of all, I just got to say, yeah, I think you got to put a little bit more respect on Josh Allen's name. I don't think Daniel Jones even sniffed the playoffs, let alone almost beat Patrick Mahomes or any quarterback on the tier of Patrick Mahomes. I don't even, made, Daniel, I don't he, even he think he sniffed the, He made the playoffs and beat, and beat the 13-win Vikings. He did. Against Kirk Cousins? 
hey, look, man, don't disrespect Kirk now. No, no, no. If, if, and I'm just, I'm just saying, if don't Daniel Jones is similar to Josh Allen, then like you know, hey, hey don't Kirk Cousins ain't really competition, then. You know what I mean? Don't get the disrespect from Kirk, man. He do his job. Ah, you know. That man's turning your franchise around. He's uh, he's a safe man. quarterback. He's a safe quarterback. You know what he'll do? He'll make sure he gets his yeah, money. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers is a safe quarterback. Hold on. Let's rewind the tape back. <laughs> rewind the tape back. You say Aaron Rodgers is a is a is a safe quarterback? He's a safe quarterback. Yeah, he's known for that. That's why he barely throws picks. Mm. Mm. Also, very throw risky balls. You know, I, I won't say like, I won't say Aaron Rodgers is a safe quarterback. I would say Aaron Rodgers isn't the best playoff quarterback. That's that's how I would put Aaron Rodgers. You know, you know how I feel about Aaron Rodgers. But I do I do want to stay on topic. I do want to stay on topic. I do want to stay on topic. Aaron Rodgers is the best playoff quarterback. Nah, nah, nah. This this will go left. This will go left real, real fast. So yeah, my answer to that question though is is absolutely not, man. I think everybody's getting better when it comes to the um when it comes to the AFC, man. And that's why I said maybe Cincinnati. The AFC is is real, real stacked. And Josh Allen's team got worse, not better. And everybody else's team got better, not worse. So I think that uh, I, I just don't see it. I don't care how much he barks, how much he yells. I don't care how much of a heroic performance he has this year. I, I really don't see them winning a championship. <laughs> but moving on from there, man, I really do want to talk about these these uh, primetime games we got coming up. September 5th, we got the Ravens versus the Chiefs. My thing with Lamar this year is it's Super Bowl or bust. To me, it's Super Bowl or bust. I can't imagine another year where he doesn't have uh, where he doesn't make it to the Super Bowl, truthfully. He's got two regular season MVPs. He's starting to look like an above-average regular season quarterback. And I love Lamar, and I got high hopes for him this year. Um, but I believe this year is Super Bowl or bust. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, <laughs> one, one, the game will be, uh, i say, 32-24 to uh, Baltimore. Secondly, Lamar is not in the Super Bowl and bus. I mean, he's a Super Bowl and bus every year, but in my opinion, he's in progress. Sometimes. As in, I make progress. He made progress last year. You know what I'm saying? They come out, they win the playoff game. He got paid his money. They had home field throughout the playoffs. He lost to Patrick Mahomes in the game that we all feel like, you know, if you just ran a couple times, you win. So, at the end of the day, I think another progress or bust here, right? Like, because I, I can't guarantee him the, the ring because, you know, it's another team that I believe is that's going to be in that game that I feel as though will take out revenge against him after what he did to them. So I'm not going to throw him in the ring, let's say, but I think getting to the championship game, um, having a good game in that game and potentially getting into the Super Bowl would be very huge for Baltimore because at the end of the day, man, like getting one ring in your career is it. You know, like these guys, it's not about to be a bunch of Brady's out here. You know, clearly yeah. Mahomes is the guy that's going to have a, have a few of them. Clearly, we already got a few. But the rest of y'all, like this is going to be like scarcity. You know, it's going to be a few ones and, and only a couple twos. Mm. You know. Mm. And if you're lucky, you get a three. But at this point, I don't know who could possibly get up to three rings if they don't have one now, knowing you're going to forever have to continue to beat Mahomes for like the next 15 years, 12 years. You know what I'm saying? Like the rest of you guys' whole careers, you know, it's like Phillip Rivers. Phillip Rivers is a, such a hard quarterback. But guess what? He had to either play Big Ben, um, Peyton Manning. Yep, Tom Brady. Uh, Tom Brady. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And hella other good team. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah it was a year Phil Rivers had the number one ranked offense and number one ranked defense and won like 10 or 11 games and they didn't make the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, you never, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like guys, like, like I said, Josh Allen, he'd be lucky to get one. You know, Joe Burrow, I think Joe Burrow will get one. Maybe two. I think Lamar gets one, maybe two, but for sure one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you know what I'm saying? 
and it's gonna be scattered. It's basically whenever my homes don't get it, that's when y'all finally get a chance. Yeah. Or you know who else I got? They might they might get them in the first round. Who's that? Steelers. Oh, you got high hopes and you got high faith in Russ this year. Yeah, high I faith. Do. I ain't never seen you be this much of a Russell Wilson fan. Hey, I ain't never seen you be this I much of a Russell me. Wilson I was, fan. I was a huge fan when he was on the Seahawks. The man. So, hey, hey, I really believe Russ going to cook up. You know what I'm saying? He got hey, one of the best coaches in the game. It's just something about our great players, the Hall of Fame coaches. It always works right. And yeah, I think he was about to disrupt because he's the one guy that is a team, the one team that's not talked about. Like, and they was in the playoffs with Kenny Pickett. Now you have Russ. Even, even if you want to say Justin Fields, they was in the playoffs with Kenny Pickett. Yeah. We don't even have to Google his numbers and that's realize why. that that's who they got in the playoffs. I think he threw more interceptions through touchdowns. Like, and they was in the playoffs with Kenny Pickett. True. Brother. True. You got Russell Wilson now. Like, facts, you, know facts. How, you know what I'm saying? What was Russell's numbers last year? Like, 29 TDs, 11 interceptions. It was something something decent. Yeah. He had a good year. Yeah. I agree with you. I say, I don't want to get too far off topic. I don't topic. know if Sean Payton is a, is, a, is a coach like that. For real, for real. Right. That was a questionable move. But right. Russ in general, bro, like, come on. With the Steelers? Real questionable. It's just something that fit, something that fit right, bro. Yeah. I'm moving on to the next game. The Packers versus the Eagles. Who needs to have a better uh, season this year? Jordan Love or Jalen Hurts? Jalen Hurts. You think so? I mean, yeah, he had a fall off here. Ah, he had a fall so. off here. Yeah. I think, I think his team Jordan fell off. Jordan it's... Love is riding, riding high. You know, well, first off, we got to go back to Jalen Hurts having a fall off year last year. It might have been the best year, but if I'm not mistaken, they were, they were the top team in, in the NFC all through the year up until like the last three or four games. Now the last five, and they lost all of them. But they were like eleven and two, and lost, something like that. And they lost. Now they were eleven and zero. You see what I'm saying? And when they went on a bad losing streak, but do you think that's Lost like five or six to in the year or something like that, and then lost the playoff game, you know, to Baker Mayfield in the Buccaneers. But so, do you think that's more that's about the Eagles team, or do you think that's more about Jalen Hurts? I think that means he got paid. They got what you need around you. All they did was change the coordinator. You know what I'm saying? So it's like and he just had a bad year, bro. He threw like. Three times as many interceptions as he did the year before. You know, it's not like Aaron Rodgers, who's just always throwing, you know, in the single digits. Like, no, he went from like a few interceptions to like a lot, especially when you add in his fumbles, too. You know, he didn't fumble that. that remember that year he made the Super Bowl? He was not fumbling. All of a sudden, you fumble in that Super Bowl, and now you kind of got this fumble bug upon you. You know, he needs to, you know, maybe go get some mental clarity and make sure he got his head and he go, you know, because he got the talent. He got the talent around him, too. You know, so and Jordan Love, it's all. They just, I put it you know, on. I put it like you know, this. They're not, they're, they're, not even, they're not even the best team in their division. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, but the Eagles are the best team in their division. So them losing their division, that's, you know what I'm saying? You got to come back from that. You know, Jordan Love. You making the playoffs was, well, hey, you, hey, shit, we might be better than we think. Like, well, you got to remember, it was similar to what the Lions did in the year before last year, where they had a, a crazy last half of the season, right? That's basically what Jordan Love did after Thanksgiving game. He just went, he just went berserk. Um, not to mention, destroyed the Cowboys in the playoffs. Um, to only lose by I think seven against the 49ers. I, I honestly would say I believe that uh that Jordan Love has way more pressure on him this year. I think he needs to have a better season. Um than Jalen than, than Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts already got his money and nine times out of ten, it nine times out of ten, if he has another ten or eleven win season like he did last year, they'll be in the playoffs. Hopefully their team chemistry got better. Like I don't see I don't see Jalen Hurts having as much on his shoulders as Jordan Love will if he does not have a good season. Because I mean, the Packers didn't start that. They start. They have to ask t- tough questions, and I think that's what happens if Jordan Love has a bad season. 
they'll have to start asking tough questions. Because one, like you said, they're not the best in the division. Caleb Williams is coming. You know what I'm saying? So if Jordan Love doesn't have as good of a season or as the same season as Caleb Caleb Williams, that's a problem. So as I just feel like Jordan Love has way, way more on him than uh than Jalen Hurts. And it's the Packers franchise. Jalen Hurts is made it to the Super Bowl. Like you said, making and getting that one, getting to a Super Bowl is already like, oh my God. You know what I'm saying? He's already, he's already uh taking that monkey off his back. So when it comes to Jordan Love, you're playing for the Packers franchise. Aaron Rodgers is going. You are the replacement to Aaron Rodgers. You know what I'm saying? This is who they're looking at as the next guy to hold this franchise down. If you don't have a good season, man, I don't even want to know the questions they'll start asking. Do we have to look for a new quarterback? Should we bring a rookie now? Should we, should we put somebody but behind Jordan Love to learn, soak up information like we did all those years, the other quarterbacks? But I got the Eagles winning that game. Uh, Jordan Love. 30 to 24. Eagles will win that game. Love is fine, bro. It's, it's the fact that we're going to ride him out regardless. He's going to get his money. Regardless. He'll have it's a good easy. year. He's just not, you know, he may or may not make the playoffs, but he'll have a, he'll have a decent year. Mm. Okay. You know. I move on to this Rams Lions. Rams versus Lions. Is this a potential playoff rematch this season? Will we see them later in the playoffs? You're stacked. <laughs> you know, the Lions are stacked right now. You know, like, you just want to, like, you know, we're talking about comparing this team to that team. The Lions are just, just filthy. You know, you got, like, eight or seven of, like, the top, you know, guys, 125. Like, we're stacked. It's insane. I love it. Um, any game we lose, it's only going to be us beating ourselves. Truth me. But do you think this is a potential no, playoff no. rematch? Um, I think we'll see them. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I don't know if we'll see them. It just depends on seeding. But, you know, I think the Rams will be in the playoffs, definitely. And I think the Lions you know, will be, you know, sitting out week one of the playoffs. So, you know, it would be where the Rams get to us, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're the one of the NFC championship. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Will you, will you make it to us? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, hey, obviously you know, I got the line. I don't think speed everybody is going to be as lucky next year. You know, Baker Mayfield, you know, he ain't going to be your biggest threat behind us. You know? Well, also you got to so think about you, it too. The Eagles fall apart at the latter part of the season and then the Bucks play them to open their playoff seating, you know. I didn't even have the Bucks winning that game, to be honest with you. I figured the Eagles would. That's how much I didn't respect the Bucks being there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah I feel you. You know. I, I got the Lions beating the Rams. I think uh, we'll come out hot, too. I think we'll, like, we'll look to put up about 40 in that game, but I will say 34. Yeah, that's 20. early in the season, man. Yeah, that's week one. I will say these are all – all these primetime games are week one. I will say 34-27. Uh, so the Jets and the Niners. 40, 42 to 14. So. 42 to 14. That's ambitious. Uh, so the Jets, Niners. Bad man turned old man, or is this a comeback year for Rodgers? Man, that's week one. That's yeah. Hell of yeah. Man, they don't like Rodgers. He's laying in the football. Huh? Man, come on. <laughs> like, come on, man. They're like, I want to show Brock Purdy's basically you. Hey, yeah, that was that was <laughs> that was <Look>. wild, <laughs> <laughs> man. Yeah, that was wild. Hey, man, I ain't gonna lie. I got a I got a good feeling about uh Rogers this year. That's I know. Lot. Hey, you know what? Maybe, man. I don't know. I, I Russell Wilson, Aaron Rodgers. Like, I got a good feeling about those guys. Like, well, I mean, bro, I think gonna have a good year. he gets injured three plays year. into last year. You know what I'm saying? He had three plays, like not three games, like three yeah. plays. Like, 
You know what I'm saying? Like, we didn't even see Aaron Rodgers last season, so we don't know what his potential is. You know what I mean? Especially, like, we never got a chance to see what that transition was like from Green Bay to the Jets. Like, he literally got injured three plays in two. I, mean, I think they'll keep it simple. You know, that's why I think they're going to win games. Because he don't have a choice. Bro, they had they had the one guy just throw on picks all the time. That's one thing he not from picks. You know, he might not throw 300, 400 yards, but it's like, we're going to look, we're going to run the ball, we're going to keep it short, field simple. I mean, well, let's be real, bro. Brady didn't always throw three, 400 yards like that, especially towards his uh, latter years. It was like, hey, we're going to get exactly what we need to win. We're going to run, you know what I'm saying? We're going to keep this game, even if they go 14 0, we're going to stay at our pace because our yeah. pace is going to end here. You know, the defense is going to step up. They have a really good defense. I think they're going to do surprisingly well. You know, they might even win the division. I have to see how they, you know, chess up to Miami because, you know, Miami is, is a threat. I forgot. They grabbed somebody else on defense. I, mean, I can't remember right now. But, yeah, bro, like Miami's a real threat for this season. You know? Man, wait till I get to the last question. You'll see just how dangerous Miami actually is. Or the last topic for today. You'll see how dangerous Miami actually is. Um, real quick, Brock Purdy, can you lead the 49ers to another Super Bowl? I don't blame him. He'd have to go to the Lions. Yeah, I don't think we're I don't think we're letting a, yeah. another lead slip That's away. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't think we're letting another yeah, lead slip away. Yeah, go to the Lions. I think he was lucky that he didn't. I have to play the Rams. I told you I had the Rams beating 49ers if they had to meet in the playoffs last year, and they didn't. We had to handle them. So we all know that like, you have Brock Purdy. So at yeah. some point, Brock Purdy is going to mess around and look like a guy named Brock Purdy and not like a guy <laughs> named, you know, Tom Brady. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? No, but that's why I asked the question. Do you think he could lead them to another Super Bowl? You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, and in due time, but I just I don't think this is their year. I think they're gonna have to re brief, you know, hit the refresh buttons on a lot of those guys. Because mm. they've been getting lucky, bro. Come on now. Was well, what you this said is before? Is what you said before in in their division, man. Like you, you still got the Rams out there. Last year you didn't get a chance to see it because some injuries happened. But this year, barring everybody's healthy. Like I said, we had this we had this conversation before the playoffs. If if the Rams make it, it's either the Rams or the Lions going to the to the uh, NFC Championship game to go against the the 49ers. And we said, whoever goes, who do you really got winning if it came down to Rams or Niners? And you know, we could pick the 49ers. And I kind of feel you on the Brock Purdy point a little bit. I don't want to be like I don't want to say that he just had a good moment last year. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like that's unfair. Like he played, he played, he played oh, efficient. He played very, very He's well. Probably. But I don't know if he has magic. I don't know. I don't know if he has magic. And I think that's my biggest thing with Purdy. It's like, I don't know if he has that magic that can get them out of some situations. Come on, man. We were upset that we No. watch the magic. No, 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 no. It's not magic. Magic is. No, no, no. Because I want to stick to 2024 season. I just want to say. Magic is not you throwing what would be an interception and it bouncing off of that man's hands and going into, you know what I'm saying? That's called divine intervention. <laughs> hey, that's how Eli got Super Bowls. Yeah, hey, no, no, no. Eli no, finished the I job. It. Oh, hey, no, hey. You know, I'm just saying. Hey, Eli finished the job, though. No, man. Eli finished the job, though. He got, he got, he got, he got, he got, I had God on his side. He must be praying. Clearly, I'm gonna move on to this before I get to the last topic for today, man. Bears versus Texans. Oh, and and for the record, 49ers Jets. I got a uh, man. I got the 49ers winning that one. I just can't say. I I can't ever say I want Rodgers to win the game. I'm gonna be honest with you. Too many NFC North uh, uh, matches. So I got I got the Niners winning that one. Um, Thirty. I keep. I don't know why I feel like it's gonna be a magical season. Every game, every uh, number, everything I'm picking starts with three. I'd say uh, 30 to oh, yeah. 19. I'd say 30 to 19. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 30 to 19. But so Bears versus Texans. Again, back to the end. Man, you know, that's like everybody, every team except the uh, Vikings and NFC North is prime time this year. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. 
That's crazy. Yeah, so, uh, we got some big guys now. Bears versus Texans. 31 to 17. Uh, Houston. I think CJ Stroud walks all over, buddy. And, um, Welcome to the NFL moment. Yeah, you know. Like, oh, oh, yeah, it's week one, too. Oh, man. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It might be 38. That's why. That's why I just pointed to the the, the rookie deal and the signing bonus. I don't got. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> Look, man, I know I don't. I don't have as much faith in Caleb as other people do. Isn't I just that kind of crazy? You know, I just want to see. Uh, Isn't that kind of wild he's, though? You know, he's shown signs. I don't want to point specific things out, but he's just shown some signs that I just wonder if you know he could truly uh, lead a locker room. Be the group of guys, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Be that, uh, be that kind of guy, you know, and really hold it down. I said this I, last I, playoffs, I, bro. Two black quarterbacks. I'm just rooting for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, Stroud got it. Stroud is like him right now. You know? Basically. After Stroud is looking like the second coming to Aaron Rodgers. You know, Man. he's just like, hey, I'm going to play this patient game. You know, I mean, just even look at the answers of questions he had been given recently. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Hey, would you rather be the guy with four MVPs in one ring or the guy with no MVPs in two rings? What matters more? Rings? I'll take the two rings. Like, we even got to speak on who the guys are, what anything else is. Yeah. Truly, it's like, I'll take the two rings over one ring and four MVPs. Facts. You know? Facts. Facts. It's, it's, I respect that. I respect that. I respect that he stand on that because you know everybody not gonna agree with that. You know. Yeah, yeah. Cause that was a bold take. I do want to move on to give my prediction for that game. I'd say uh, it's kind of interesting. I say it's kind of interesting match. I'm kind of with you a little bit on that. Though. I don't know why Caleb Williams gets as much hype as he does. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but. I'll say Texans, obviously, NFC North. I don't want anybody, I don't want any of those other teams to do well. They think he's about to be Mahomes. And I, they I never, don't think people understand how special Mahomes is. And I don't like, think people like, ever can realize. You, can you at least be Stafford first? Yeah, bro, you know they've never had a 4,000-yard quarterback? Bro, I don't think people understand how often number one picks don't live up to the hype at the quarterback position. Like, Man. you know what I'm saying? Again, that's another reason why I shouted out the $39 million uh, rookie deal. Like, congrats. Man, you know has Trevor Lawrence thrown for 4,000 yards? Yes. I want you to know, because I'm about to make a, a great transition. And so since we're talking about all this money, Tyreek Hill said Tua should be one of the highest paid QBs in the NFL. Right. <laughs> let me get through this. Tyreek Hill said Tua should be one of the highest paid QBs in the NFL. Do you feel Tua's worth the forty to fifty million dollar a year salary people are projecting that he'll make? Now, before you give your answer, I want to. I'm about to list off the highest paid QBs so you can hear this. Joe Burrow, fifty five million dollars, right? Say he deserves that. Guess who's also making fifty five million a season? Your guy, Trevor Lawrence. Number two is that Jared Goff, 53 million. Justin Herbert, number three, 52.5 million. Number four, number five, Lamar Jackson, 52 million. Jalen Hurts after that at 51. Kyler Murray, 46.1. Deshaun Watson, 46. Kirk Cousins, 45. Mahomes, 45. Allen, 43. Stafford, 40. Prescott, 40. Daniel Jones, 40. If we're judging based off his contemporaries, absolutely. I'm gonna, let me list off some stats, too, so you can get a better viewpoint of Tua's uh, the last couple of years for Tua. In 2023, completed 388 of his 560 passes. He threw for 4,600 yards, 29 TDs, 14 uh, picks. He, uh, he was second in the league in uh, average yards per attempt. The stats for 2022 completed 259 of his 400 passes, 3,500 yards season, 25 tees, eight interceptions, led the NFL in average yards per attempt. So he seems to only get better. And here's something that the uh, the Finsider said about Tua. He's top five in his last two years in all meaningful stats, including QBR, completion percentage, and passing TDs. But Tua's never won a playoff game. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, bro, what do you think? Just be honest with yourself, all right? You got to think about what was life like before him, 
Oh, we weren't even like having these discussions. So let's keep having these discussions. Pay the man, keep us relevant, keep us in the opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, like I said, bro, I think fans and people forget like winning one Super Bowl. Like, if I if I sign the quarterback for ten years, if we get one Super Bowl. That is a successful signing over yeah. the ten years. You know, I get like six deep runs. Yep. You know, yep. I get two appearances to the Super Bowl, and we won one. Like, yeah, we're not the all-time greats, but we're going to the Hall of Fame. Like, that's but that's my thing, though. Do you players? think two will ever get them over as, the Hall? Like, if the Lions has history like that, I love that. Yeah, but yeah, we had a couple over the ten years. We had like two, three, four deep runs. We went to the playoffs eight out of the ten years, you know, mm-hmm. and we got one ring. You know, that means every year I got to say, shit, we can win it, you know, because nice. we look like it then and we look like it all, all through it, you know. So I, I think you can take that. Tua, the reason I said his number was his number because he's just like Jared Goff. But guess what? Jared Goff got 55, like you said. So I don't know. Maybe Tua would love to be number three. Because, no, but just think about that, bro, though. You got to have a team around that guy. You got to have the team. You're not going to watch Tua or Jared Goff ever just go pick up the Thanks. Carolina Panthers and, and take them to relevancy. Thanks. You know, it's just the truth. Facts. I don't disagree with you, but when you mention when you mention uh, Jared Goff, He's one of the only three quarterbacks out of that highest paid list that even made it to the championship game in their conference last year. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is like, what is my thing is what are the my thing is what is what are the is that golf or is that team? My thing is what are the benchmarks for the money? I feel like that's kind of more of the the relevant question. Like, what are the actual? Because Daniel Jones is making forty. You have to pay to a like. 40. If Daniel Jones is making 40, you have to pay I mean, they, 40. Okay, they can't keep saying that because after next year, Daniel Jones is going to be making like 13 playing a backup somewhere. Okay, but let's look at Dak Prescott. He's mm-hmm. also making 40. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. so, Dak but- Prescott is on the last year of his deal. Starting next year, he's going to be at 55 playing for Washington. <laughs> Stafford's also making 40. His, yo, you only you know people who deals are up, and that's but, no, but that's my thing though. If they're making, if they got paid, that just a new deal. No, bro, okay, all, let's say, those guys, all those guys get new deals. In, Kirk in Cousins, year. Kirk Cousins getting paid forty five. Are you saying Kirk Cousins is 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 Tua? Where do you put Kirk Cousins and Tua if you're ranking? Look, man, you know what I'm saying. That's what I mean when I, I say I what are like, the benchmarks. I, I don't understand because they're all on the same tier. All right, golf, <laughs> all of them. They're all the same guy. All right, Dak, golf, Tua, um, Kirk. They're all the same guy, bro. This is true. Yeah, that's wild. You know, but hey, you get propped up when your team can prop you higher than what you are. You know, I just look at Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield has multiple. Playoff, all right. Yeah, when your team popping you up. You can you can go high levels. That's just the truth. You got a right team around you. It makes you so much better. I mean, it's guys like named Trent Dilfer that got Super Bowl rings. You know, it's guys that were literally told like, "Hey man, just make these throws in these situations, and we'll be okay." Right, and that's why we got that heated debate. But I'm like, anybody on that role, I feel as though you can plug into Detroit. And they will be, they're not going to be Jared Goff, literally, but we're going to be successful because, like, this row of guys all can be successful when the team is really, you know, because you got to think, bro, Jared Goff was getting like 30 million for it. Yeah. Yeah. That was big money. No, and that's why, that's why I said, bro. 30, so now we built this team out. We still got a little time with the rookie deals and stuff, but I'm just going to be honest, like, I didn't want to pay him that much just because I, I actually care more about the rest of the guys. Like, you other guys are truly, we're, we're drafting you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I believe we should hold on to you. You know, golf is like our mercenary right now. Thanks. You know, we got a good mercenary for hire. 
but let's try to get the guy that you know what I'm saying. All right, let's try to get our Dak Prescott. Yeah, you grab him. You know what I'm saying? In the draft. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah, some of these right. things. So your viewpoint on golf is absolutely like nuts. I just want to say that before we bring this to an end, your viewpoint, like your, view, your not, viewpoint on golf is absolutely like sometimes you say stuff and it's like I'm with you on on how you view golf and then sometimes you say absolutely absurd things. It's like bro, man, I don't, even, I don't even know how you can say that with a straight face. <laughs> bro, golf is great, but I mean, look, Matt Ryan, same tier. You get he get a dog squad, he get a super good coordinator. What does he do? He gets an MVP, Matt and, but he deals with Super Bowl. But Matt Ryan got an MVP. Golf ain't got that. Bro. Come on, 